Hello there Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue and today I'm going to be doing your love reading for mid-June to mid-July. So we're going to take a look at the overall energies in a your romantic love life and then we'll look at the details with Tarot. And if you enjoy the content in this video or the content that I create, I would really appreciate it if you would like, share, or subscribe. So let's get into your reading and see what you have on the horizon. So we're going to first take a look at the overall energies. We're going to start with your present energy in your romantic love life. Milk and honey. Oh, Scorpio. Really nice. This is kind of like the Ten of Cups type of energy. Like right now, you're feeling like your love life is exactly where you want it to be and that's going to be different for everybody everybody will resonate differently um, so if you're in a relationship you're enjoying that relationship and if you're single you're actually enjoying being single you know like maybe you're you're playing the field or whatever or you're just enjoying time with your friends and family and you're working on your career and you're just like hey everything's fine and um, so that's a lovely energy, especially, you know, to me, this is kind of like a summery type feel. So you may even be feeling like, yeah, this is the, you know, the summer where I'm just going to, you know, enjoy what I have in my life, whatever that is for you now. So now let's take a look at your obstacle for this next month. Okay, these oracle cards I don't normally read upside down, but this is unusual for it to be upside down, so we're going to read it this way. So soulmate, the person that if you're in a relationship right now, the, your obstacle is that you're going to start questioning, is this really the soulmate for you? Okay, and if you're single, then what you're going to be doing is like questioning what type of soulmate that you may want to attract or, you know, if you even want a soulmate. You know, like you may be single and looking to have a soulmate, like really enjoying your life, but wanting to attract somebody in. But over the next month, you'd be, you might like just not meeting anybody that's really thrilling you and just kind of wondering, am I ever going to meet anybody? So your obstacle over the next month is just questioning all of this goodness that's in your life. So Scorpio, you know, sometimes we get that. Like when we have everything that we think we really want, what happens is then we start questioning it. Is it really what I want? So let's see what happens in the end. Building blocks. Okay, so this is still a really good energy. I think over the next month, you might be questioning your love life what it is you really want in your love life is what you have really what you truly want that type of thing but what you have to realize is that this is just part of the process of making sure that you have a strong foundation it doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna break up with who you are with or anything you're just trying to make sure that the the happiness the joy that you have in your life right now continues and so sometimes that means that we have to have conversations or make some changes or something in our relationship to make sure that, you know, our foundation is strong. And if you're single, I think it's a time where you're going to really be like, I want to make sure I'm at a really good place before I enter my next relationship. I want to make sure my foundation, my core values, my spirituality, you know, um, happiness, joy, you know, the hobbies that you're doing, the work that you're doing, everything is like where you really want it to be um, before you enter into your next relationship. So let's see what we have on the bottom blessed. This is such a nice energy because it really means that right now you're feeling blessed in your life. You're, you know, whatever is going on in your life, you're kind of like, wow, you know, I, I am really blessed. Like, you probably come through some hard times and now you're like, oh my gosh, I, I finally got there. I kind of finally arrived. Um, and sometimes when we get there, once again, we start doubting it, you know, waiting for the other shoe to drop, that type of energy. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify these. I'm going to use the Psychic Tarot first, and then we'll clarify these with the Light Sears Tarot. So in your present energy with the Milk and Honey, oh, you have the Universe card. So... You know, this is you just feeling like you have the entire world. This is kind of like the world card. You know, having the entire world, you feel like 
you know, you really have arrived, <laughs> whatever that means for you. Your romantic love relationships or your just life in general, you feel like you've kind of really arrived, like you have almost like stepped into a new world. It's kind of like, and it might be brand new to you. I kind of get the sense that maybe it's like a whole new thing, like, oh my gosh, like I never thought I would get to this point. Um, you know, maybe you've been single for a while and, you know, all of a sudden you're like, you know what, I really like being single. Or you may have, you know, been in a relationship and suddenly you've taken your relationship to the next level. You've gotten engaged or maybe you're getting, you know, married or maybe you're going to have a child. You know, your relationship is going to the next level and maybe you really thought it would, you would never have this in your life. And you've stepped into this new world and I think that the newness of this is what's causing you to maybe have a little bit of doubt. Like, is this real? Is it going to last? What should I do about this, you know? So let's see what we have to clarify this soulmates in reverse. Yeah, hangman, you feel kind of like you have to sacrifice something um, in order to keep this, you know? So you may be feeling, um, for instance, say maybe you are going to take a relationship to the next level and you know, you have to, maybe you're going to move in together. So you're going to give up, you know, your own place and to move in with somebody else, right? To take your commitment to the next level. And you're kind of like, oh my goodness, I have to sacrifice like my own space, right? Because we all kind of like our own space and Scorpio, you do too. So it's kind of like, wow, you know, I'm giving up like my plan B, right? <laughs> you can't go back to your own place if things aren't working out. Um, and, you know, I think sometimes, you know, if you're doing really well in your career and everything and, you know, maybe uh, trying to attract a new love into your life, you may feel like, wow, if I get involved with somebody, am I going to have to sacrifice, give up, you know, a time with my friends, you know, some of my time with my hobbies, uh, you know, maybe not put so much focus on my career. So, um, I feel like that's your, your kind of your obstacle this month is just trying to figure out how can you keep it all? Cause right now it looks like the universe has just brought you everything that you've ever wanted. Yeah. So to, um, clarify the building blocks, we have the crown chakra. So this is kind of like opening up to your intuition and, um, realizing, you know, that you are getting, you are being spiritually guided along this path. I'm going to get one more for this. Ah, spiritual union. Yeah, coming into realization that this is a really strong connection. Um, and discontentment and boredom. I think you've been kind of bored in your life or just not happy with the things that were happening in your life. And now suddenly it's like everything's kind of come together and you're like, well, wait a minute, how do I keep it? And you're kind of just, oh, it's just so concerned that it's going to fall apart. But this is a message from spirit that this is a good relationship. And um, if you're single, that you have a strong relationship coming. And if you want to stay single for a while and enjoy that, that it's fine um, not to worry, not to rush into anything just because you know you feel like time is ticking or whatever, that you do have somebody on your path for when you're really ready for it. Really nice energy. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna clarify these just to see if we can get any more advice for you. So with the universe card, we have eight of wands, four of swords, and queen of swords with seven of wands on the bottom. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, you have been through a lot in the past. And, you know, if you're in a, a good relationship right now, you know, it, it's been going really well, but now all of a sudden you may be taking it to the next level and you're kind of wondering, you know, am I really ready for this? You know, I've overcome something in the past, but am I really ready for it? And, you know, this is the universe saying, yes, you've done the work. You're, you're taking the action. You're communicating your needs to this person that you have healed from whatever is in the past and you have a clarity about where you want your life to go. Um, 
And so I think that you're just really in this lovely energy, but I think in the back of your mind, you really are kind of wondering, what do I have to sacrifice to keep this, right? To keep whatever it is that's going on in your life. But this is Spirit also saying, listen, you're on top of it. The Seven of Wands is you getting on top of everything in the past that may have affected your romantic love life, that you've done the healing, you've done the work, that you're ready for this relationship. And to kind of like, they're telling me, surrender to this relationship, like go all in. Like don't have the doubts. Really nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify this. Yeah, Five of Cups, King of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, and the Tower is on the bottom. Yeah, so I really feel like for some of you, it is that you're kind of, I'm getting the message that you're concerned <laughs> that there is going to be a Tower moment, that you're worried that it is all going to come crashing down, right? Um, and so, you know, with the Five of Cups, it could be that... You know, in the past, you feel like um, you've been abandoned in your relationships or something. This is kind of like, you know, that energy of feeling alone and um, abandoned. You know, like, it's just never going to work out for me. And uh, with the King of Swords, you know, this could be an air sign in your life. So that would be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. It could be, you know, that you're dealing with one or you have in the past somebody that was really uh, strong analytically, a strong thinker. But I'm concerned that this also could represent you just overthinking this situation. This is, you know, somebody that's kind of really up in their head, wants to really, um, you know, like not a lot of emotion. You know, the Five of Cups is losing emotion, you know, being really sad about a situation. And the King of Swords is like almost over analyzing the situation. And, you know, you're kind of like feeling like you're, you're having to put a lot of work into this relationship. But I, the, the advice that I'm getting from Spirit is it's because you're overthinking it. Like, go back to your heart space and look at your situation, whether you're single or in a relationship. Just kind of like look at your, rela your relationship with yourself, with your heart space, and put the love back into the situation instead of trying to overanalyze it. Because I think the an analyzing it could lead to the tower moment, right? Because when you're overanalyzing it, then you're letting your ego kind of like rule the relationship instead of your heart space and of course you know if you feel like you know there's red flags or <laughs> or it's a toxic situation or abusive at all you definitely need to walk away from that but if you're just trying to it's almost like you're trying to look for things that are wrong in this relationship or in your romantic love life it's almost like you're trying to look for the bad instead of just like loving it and kind of going with it. Um, so anyway, let's see what the future has with you. Five of Swords, yeah, being in your head. Ace of Pentacles, the Hermit. And the star is on the bottom. So this represents like hope, you know, hope for the future, true healing. And here, Five of Swords, still just kind of like up in your head. This can also be kind of regrets. Um, and I feel like for some of you, um, if you, you get into that over analyzing and stuff, you may have some regrets about doing that instead of like being really in this loving place. Cause this is the two of cups. This is a really, really nice energy. Um, Ace of Pentacles. This is something new. This is like a new offer. Um, and it could be that you you may be kind of like thinking out the situation and then almost like offering the person that you're dealing with or uh, let's go with if you're in a relationship first then we'll talk about if you're single if you're in a relationship this could be you actually offering the person that you're dealing with you know like um a compromise so I feel like you might come across a little stumbling block over the next month. And it doesn't mean that the relationship's going to end. It just means that there's some stumbling block. So for instance, if you're, you're moving in with this person 
and you're kind of like, wow, I'm giving up my own space and you're moving into their place and maybe their place doesn't have, you know, a room that you can go to, you know, maybe it's just not big enough or something like kind of coming up with a compromise. Like, how can we work this out? You know, is there, you know, do, do we get a bigger place together or, you know, is there a corner that I can have just my stuff in? That type of energy. It's an offer or it could be an offer from the person that you're dealing with about how to compromise over this stumbling block. I feel like you are going to have a little obstacle. And once again, it's just a small obstacle, but working through this obstacle instead of like shutting down the whole relationship. Working through this obstacle is going to help you build better foundation for your relationship together. Um, and that would take communication. You know, we have the eight of wands here. It's like communicating your needs in a, a place from your heart, not in your head. <laughs> Get out of your head, Scorpio. Um, and really, you know, just talking it out. Um, because we have the Hermit card here. You know, this is um, you really kind of needing to go inward and get into that heart space. Um, that's where you're going to get your wisdom. That's where you're going to get your intuition about how to move forward in this instead of trying to just analyze it from the, you know, from the mind. If you are single, so let's go back to that. If you're single, you may be like, you know, feeling pressure from family or friends about why are you single? Why aren't you dating? You know, that kind of thing. Um, and so you might, they may be having you get into your head, you know, like it's, it's time to start working on this. You need to have a relationship. You need to have a soulmate and you may really be enjoying being solitude right now, right? Enjoying your time, just getting to know yourself better, um, understanding yourself better, listening to your intuition and making maybe some changes in your life based on what information you're getting from your guides and that type of thing. And here's the Ace of Pentacles. So I do feel like you have some type of a gift coming in from the universe that helps you to stay on the path that you really feel like you're meant to stay on. But that's once again is like staying in your heart space, staying in your working with your intuition and not listening to your ego saying, yeah, you know, your best friend is right. You need to, you know, get married or, or, you know, it's time for you to start having kids or, or whatever. It's, um, it's about you doing what is right for you, Scorpio, and not what's right for everybody else around you. And I love having the star card on the bottom because it really does mean that, you know, I, you're in this lovely energy, like things really are going well for you right now. Once again, I think your obstacle is that you're just getting in your head and asking yourself, like, how long is it going to last? And that's because of, you know, painful situations in the past. But by working through this, <laughs> whatever that is, single or in a relationship, by working through this little stumbling block, it's going to help you to heal that um, tendency to maybe feel like abandoned or abandoning others, you know? So look at the patterns in your life. Um, are people abandoning you? Or are you abandoning them when a little obstacle comes up? And I think it, it, it it's probably not just like choosing what to eat for dinner. It is probably bigger than that. But it's not something that's going to bring down this entire relationship unless you kind of start over analyzing it and not working from your heart. Okay, so that is a really, I love this reading. It's really got good energy and I really do feel like by working through the situation, you're, you're getting some deeper healing and you're also, you know, at getting some soul evolution, some soul growth here. Really nice. Okay, so let's pull a creativity oracle card. Intuition. <laughs> Allow the limitless power of your unconscious mind to answer your problem by using symbols, memories, and hunches. Yeah, it's really this month is really about you getting into your intuition, getting out of your head. And sometimes when we get stressed about things that are going on in our life, we get all up in our head. 
So just get back into your heart space. Get, you know, take some time to meditate. We have the hermit card here. Take time to meditate. Take time to be by yourself so that you can really quiet your mind and get into your intuition and listen to that um, instead of that ego, that pesky ego. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's pull a love oracle card for you. Oh, nice. Okay, sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. And I, you know, I keep saying that you have to go back into that heart space, right? Um, really go into that heart space. And if you are single, um, and even if you're in a relationship, remember that each of us has that feminine and masculine divine within us and sometimes what we have to do is really love ourselves like really go inside and help our feminine and masculine sides come together so that you know we're we're in more balance and that'll help us to attract you know the the perfect soulmate for you but i think if you're in a relationship right now you're it's looking good it really is just don't overanalyze it Go with the flow, love from the heart, and all, everything will be great. Okay, Scorpio, I'm going to leave it with that. And I do wish you lots of love and light in this situation and all your situations. Bye for now.